What's up, guys? Welcome back to Charge the Game Podcast. I'll be your host here, Chuck. Now, today's video is going to be about the one and only Skip Bayless. But before we get into that video, stop what you're doing and hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell so you can continue to get the latest drop when I drop these sports media coverages. Back to the video. So, we all know that since, uh, you know, Shannon Sharp has left Skip Bayless, Skip Bayless has been coming off to me now. I don't know. I don't know. Skip Bayless has been coming off to me very, very desperate for attention, right? He's still mentioning uh, LeBron James' name. I think I've seen where he made a post about LeBron James isn't, isn't the only one that's been in the lab. I have too because the show is scheduled to come back, I believe, like August the 28th or something like that. That's what well, that's what's expected of Skip Bayless in the show Undisputed to return around that time frame. I believe it was August 27th or August 28th. And I could be wrong, but I'll fact check that. But I've been noticing because... <laughs> I actually like Skip Bayless in a weird way. I don't like some of the things that he does, but I just think that this guy is an interesting person. Uh, you know, all around, he's a guy that doesn't really like to show his emotions. He's a guy that's very entitled. Uh, he definitely uses his white privilege to the best of himself. But <clears throat> I like Skip Bayless in a weird way uh, because underneath all that hard pain, he you can tell that he's a guy that just simply needs a hug. That's all it is. He needs a hug. He's too hardened by his own past. Uh, you know, I know that he had a dad that used to beat him. And his mom was an alcoholic. I know that he had a dad that used to beat him and his uh, mom was an alcoholic. I think that deep down, Skip Bayless just needs a hug in sports. Gives him an outlet to not really think about the trauma he's been through. And the Cowboys <laughs> and LeBron James are his main topics. Cowboys, LeBron James, and Tom Brady. We all know that those are his three main topics to talk about. But let's dig a little deeper here. I've been noticing ever since Shannon Sharp left him high and dry, he's been going out of his way to try to show the world how happy he is, right? You can see he's always with his buddy Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne is his best friend from what Skip Bayless says. Lil Wayne is his best friend and I think that deep down Lil Wayne understands Skip Bayless a lot better than most minorities or other race people do um is it weird to me but doesn't ernestine look like skip bayless like she really looks like this guy to me right y'all let me know in the comment section if i'm tripping or not but look at these videos right he went and i'm not logged in so i can't really show you guys like all the captions and stuff i just didn't feel like doing all that but we all know that every friday he would dress as skip bayless drip bayless and show his outfit and every day he was used to posting like the topics that were going to be on the show now we look at this guy and it's like yay look at me you know um with little wayne or with ernestine he's posting a post about his dog i forget i forgot his dog's name but it just it just seems like this guy is desperate to go out his way and show the world that He's not mourning over Shannon Sharp, nor is he not bothered by being on the show. I believe deep down, Skip Bayless misses the show. And deep down, his pride won't allow him or tell him this. But I believe Skip Bayless knows that he, he messed up for the first time. He's been humiliated. It took a, a Shannon Sharp took a lot from him shannon sharp took a lot of crap from him shannon sharp allowed this guy to embarrass him and uh, emasculate him on national television several times it made shannon sharp come off as a boot licking slave a boot licking guy who wanted to always keep his spot uh kiss skip bayless ass and to the black culture it was very very eye raising and to some of uh, just point up, just straight up disappointing humiliating right but the way that Shannon Sharp felt is the way that Skip Bayless feels now. Skip Bayless feels like he's been embarrassed. He's feeling like no one's thinking about him, which in reality, nobody really is thinking about you, Skip Bayless, because a lot of people have, a lot of people do feel that, oh, it says right here, the show is coming August 28th, so I was right. So a lot of people do feel that you ran your course with Shannon Sharp. You overdid it on several occasions and you always took him for granted you always bit the hand that fed you because let's be honest no one was watching that show just for you skip bayless a lot of people watch that show for shannon sharp because shannon sharp brought so much character so much relatable people 
Think about the two topics you talk about the most football, basketball. Who do you think primarily make those sports? Black people. African Americans make that sport. And what you did was you had a guy who brought a lot of viewing to you because he was relatable to a lot of those athletes that you talk about. So you ran a guy like that off who's personable and relatable to them, who played the same sport as them, who played, uh, you know, the same type of game they played and had the same type of makeup mentality, knew what it took to get in, put their body through harsh conditions and circumstances to, a to be able to achieve rewards, Super Bowls, finals. You know what I mean? Like, he knows better than you, Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless, you never, ever made it to that level. I think that... Richard Sherman, you know, made the case that you only scored like one point. You couldn't make the varsity team. You was on JV. And then you you keep blaming your coach for not making the team because you said that your coach didn't like you. Well, if your coach didn't like you because of the things that he saw then, it looks like a lot of the things that we see now may be the reason why your coach didn't like you. You think that you're a lot better than people and you think that you can talk to people any kind of way because of your platform and possibly because of the privilege that you that you're allotted naturally so just looking at skill bailey's he looks like a guy that is clearly trying too hard to be accepted to be liked you know uh, look at this you know the, the guy doesn't really follow anybody back because all he cares about is his opinion i respect it though you know uh, to have this many people want to follow you blindly i even follow the guy right <laughs> to have this many people want to follow you blindly and you don't follow anybody just kind of says a lot about who you are i mean not even your agent not your wife not not hazel yeah that's his dog's name is hazel i mean like you know it's just daily sports truth <laughs> hottest debate on tv right that's all he wants to do that's his life so it's like skip bayless for the first time has been stripped from his addiction which is sports and he's going through withdrawals and he looks miserable and he looks desperate you can smile with little wayne you can smile with uh your wife uh ernestine and your dog but deep down uh skip bayless you have taken the nail if you agree with this let me know in the comment section what you think like always subscribe to the youtube channel hit the notification bell let me know how you charge to the game peace